This is Gilmer, and this is episode 13 of my Let's Play 30 Years War. And I, um, let's just get to it. I don't really have anything else to say. Sound's still on. I know that that random gamer has a lot of trouble with Crash to Desktop. I don't know why he's having that issue, obviously, or I'd help him out. I don't have as much trouble with that as he does and knock on wood I haven't had that trouble at all in 30 years war I did as you probably know have that trouble with uh, to end all wars and once your once your game file gets corrupted I think it's that's it it's going to keep doing it until you you basically have to start restart the whole game over again so uh, I feel for him on that um, it seems like he's able to at some point uh, get some, you know, movement or, or some advancement on his turns after a crash, but I did not I did not have that kind of luck, and uh, once it started going south on me for two end all wars, then it was over, and uh, eventually I might go back and restart, start a game, and from the very beginning, because I think that's part of the problem, I, I don't know exactly why that is a problem but it seems to be a problem so at some point I might go back to end up to to end all wars but for the moment I am not going to do that um, in our last episode we one thing we realized was a lot of our troops disappeared and went off to fight in Poland against the uh, Swedish deluge I guess is what it was called at that point and that's okay though because we're doing fine without them or with them I'm not sure uh, we've captured castle which is has a uh, size 4 depot and that's a pretty good amount of supply we have this formation that is kind of protecting Hanover and we're doing pretty well on money and war supply because I really have nothing to say to spend them on to be honest let's take a look and see because I, I see that random gamer doing this all the time and for some reason I don't have the option to play anything on these I did at one point have an option to play some cards on these boxes up here but I used them one time and then they were gone don't know when they're coming back let's see where where are we okay so if we take a look at F9 we see that we have four more objectives to take Hamburg, Stettin, Stralsund and Magdeburg and then after that I don't know if we'll have anything else to do. Where is Strawson? That's up here somewhere, isn't it? There's Kiel. Hamburg. What did we say? Hamburg, Stetton, Strawson, and Magdeburg. Oh, Strawson's over here in a region that is locked, I think. So, where's Stettin? Stettin's over, there it is, over here. Stettin, Stralsen, Hamburg, and Magdeburg, which is right there. So I guess our, our current objectives are Hamburg up here and Magdeburg down here. And that's pretty much it. We really don't have anything else to do. I'm going to let him keep on resting here until these supply wagons fill up. Uh, we could probably move him a little bit if we wanted to. Um, it says the Danish army's here in Lowenstein. So nine units. So that's probably got a pretty good amount of power sitting in there. At least four or five hundred power to be sure. So let's 
Let's see if we can't get these at least on military control to us as we pass through them. We'll go here, go here, and then that'll be it. But if we gain military control over these areas, then we'll be that'll be doing pretty well for us, I believe. And what's going on with this? Is he still... Does he need some uh, replacements? Hmm. Yeah, let's build some replacements for them. Um, one unit, one unit. It's June. I really don't want to go anywhere with him so late in the year I mean it sounds like it's not really that late but you never know in this game if it's late or not um, I certainly don't want to be uh, caught over here during a winter turn and, and being inactive if I was inactive um, at some point I, I'm going to have to do it though aren't I so let's see. Forty two days, twenty six days. That's clear. Now let's just go one turn over and see. Oh, wait a minute. Twenty eight days, thirty seven. 37 total. Okay. So, let's see. We're making some movements. F5, F6, nothing and nothing. Let's save our turn. And then execute. I didn't look at anything. I didn't do, I didn't use those RGDs. Regional game decision. Is that what that stands for? I don't know, but I didn't. I didn't do that. I was chastised by Tom Flamang for not doing that on every turn, which is true because I have 391 engagement points and it only costs one engagement point to play those cards. So it's pretty ridiculous not to play them every turn. So seems like there's some troop gathering at Havelberg. Oh, they're moving again. Maybe they're going to Magdeburg. They are going to Magdeburg. Yep, I was right. 583 power plus 29, which makes it what? Six, uh, 612 power in Magdeburg. So I can't really do anything. Oh, he's inactive too. I can't really do anything with him. Let's see. This guy's inactive this turn. So, of course, it takes 43 days to get to Gorlitz. Um, yeah, why not? Where are our troops over here? We don't really have any. All we have is Count Tilly. Let's see. The Protestants have asked England for help. Tax income from Frank. Exceptional income from Castle. Exceptional. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Castle. Um, yeah, not really too much. Cordoba Army has arrived in Dessau. Anhol Corps has arrived in limits. That's Dessau. Upkeep has cost four money and the Wallenstein army is completely unsupplied in Gdynia. What the hell is that? 
Well, what am I supposed to do with him up here? I can't do anything there, can I? Holy shit. I'm supposed to do something with these? I can't move them anywhere, can I? This region can't be entered. This region is neutral or blocked. Son of a gun, man. These guys are going to... fritter away. I can't build a depot here. I don't know. I don't understand why this is happening. Gdynia, military control, Poland. And I'm not Poland. I'm not besieging it, though. This is a head scratcher. I don't have any boats or ships that I could move up there, do I? Not that I see. Amazing. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and save the turn and hope against hope that he's able to find some supply somewhere. full strength again or somewhat let's move them to Prague cannot be entered Halberstadt that's where I need to be Should I do it before the year's out? If I if I move here, can't believe they took my supply units too. Look at that, completely unsupplied in Gdynia again. This is uh very frustrating. I'll take a screenshot of this because I'm going to post this on the boards and say the hell is going on here. Print screen. Hopefully that will work. But um, that's crazy. That is crazy that I can't move him anywhere. I can't really take this city because I'm not at war with Poland that I know of. And I can't move him out by boat or ship. It's just not right. They're going to just whittle away there and be worthless. That's just something wrong with that. Something very, very wrong. Return to neutral value, minus two. His morale's at 74. What else? Is there anything else we can do? F5, F6, no, no. F2, well, of course, the Holy Roman Empire needs a lot of replacements because they're all stuck up there in Poland. Now, I've got plenty of money to buy them, but it doesn't really matter, does it? Oops. I think some of the Spanish is up, are up there, too. Uh, 
as well buy them replacements. I don't know if they'll actually be able to get them up there since they're unsupplied. Let's save the turn and execute. That's just a little crazy, though. You got to be able to supply them or do something. Just doesn't make sense to have them just sit up there and just wh wh you know, whittle away or, or trit away, completely gone. Troops sent to Poland returns at crossing. Um, where the hell is crossing? Oh, here we are. So he gives me he gives me these troops back, with absolute in the absolute middle of freaking nowhere, and then they're supposed to do something. Thanks a fucking bunch. Sorry for my language, but that's just just not right. Seventy turns, of course. Let's see if we can't take that place. So we get our troops back. I had them in a good spot that was well supplied. I had them over here, either there or there. I can't remember which. I think I had them in Halberstadt. And then they took them and put them in a place where there was no supply. And then they brought them back and put them in a place where there was no supply. Well, I have to tell you that I'm a little disappointed in that. Um, messages, troops sent to Poland returns at crossing. Yes, I got that. Imperialist support decreases in Spain. Protestant support decreases in the United Provinces. And whole corps has called off the assault because there was no breach. Protestants succeeded in retreating. Croatian Dragoons, Bavarian army suffered 32 hits. Spinelli Brigada received Arcabussier and upkeep cost four. Wallenstein's detachment is completely unsupplied. Lenz Gar Garnison. Isn't that supposed to be Garrison? Does it say Garrison? I'm just not reading it right, or is it real does it really say Garnison? It's completely unsupplied in region Gdynia. Maratus reinforcements are partially unsupplied in region Gdynia. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very little. Let's execute the turn because what else am I gonna do? I can't save Wallenstein. He'll be he'll be able to make it to Prague in time to get some supply and time and in time to kind of re rebuild a little bit but it's just kind of weird is it is it a mechanism to to cost me money because I have so much money and nothing to spend it on except replacements now or is it just uh, an oversight we're besieging Gorlitz Bavarian army has arrived in Halberstadt. Upkeep has cost four. Wallenstein detachment is completely, completely unsupplied. Maratus reinforcements are partially unsupplied. Oh, they're, they're back too now. Jesus. Could that be any worse? I had them spread out on purpose. And they brought them back in the same place, which was miles and miles and miles away from... Is he active? Yes. Let's see if we can't get him. 85 days. 49 days. Remember what I did with uh, in Rise of Prussia? I think that's what I want to do now. Split them up and they go quicker for some reason. Some of them do anyway. We'll reform these guys. Damn it! I didn't want... Son of a...
55 days. 65 days. Now he's back to 65 again. 74. Fuck. Not a damn one of them are moving quickly at this point. Here's Count Tilly. It's October. He's got three full supply. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? Let's execute this turn. Going to need to buy a lot of replacements for those troops after they get back to Prague and wherever else I'm going to get them to. How long is it? How? The noble shares his fortune. We are besieging Gorlitz. We're besieging Breslau. We called off the assault. Bavarian army has arrived in Magdeburg. The upkeep costs four. And a lot of unsupplied units. Look at that. 44 days. 36 days. Is he, oh, he's besieging Gorlitz. Why is he locked? Because he's a garrison unit. How? Going to not say anything. Not going to say how stupid it is to have a garrison unit that is locked from moving and put in, put in a place where he can't get supply. Not going to say anything. Just not going to say it. It doesn't make sense, but... Expert Gunner. Lamon. Let's take Magdeburg. Okay. Noble shares his fortune. We are receiving... Upkeep cost four. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, we've already looked at all those. So let's save and execute so that we can see more messages about how every freaking unit in the east is unsupplied except the one at Gorlitz and he's probably going to be unsupplied before it's all over I should probably move him back to Prague while he's still active tax income exceptional Poor tax from Warsburg. A Protestant surrendered to us in Breslau. Well, look at there. That's not too shabby. We gained one morale point, and we lost one for returning to neutral value, of course. Uh, why won't Why won't this guy surrender? And why isn't this guy moving? 76 days 50 days 3 days 23 yeah it makes sense to me does it to you it's funny yeah we got a lot of people unsupplied you gain control of Breslau Alright, let's save the unit. Oh, you know what I haven't been doing? Even after I said Tom Fleming had mentioned it, I haven't been doing this. So, 
Save. Execute. Execute the prisoner. I wish I had some prisoners. I thought that was going to be part of the game. I don't think that we get very many prisoners. Look how low their combat value is now. Uh, we made a breach in Gorlitz. And this guy's inactive. And why isn't this guy moving? I mean, he's completely decided to stop moving. Um... Doesn't tell me how strong that unit is. I can't. How about this? Is that gamey? I don't know, but I'm doing it anyway. After what they did to my guys, look at this. This guy's gone. He's going to be completely gone. After what they did to my units up here, I think I am entitled to a little gaminess in this game. Excuse my making up a word called gaming, gaminess, but that's just... I like Agile games, but sometimes they do things like that, and it has ab makes absolutely no sense. It's because somebody didn't think it through. And that's fine. I mean, you know, I mean, they, and, sir, a very harsh weather caused the disappearance of the teeth and back arquebusiers in Conagratz. No shit. Thanks a lot. Unbelievable. So we lost, already lost one unit due to that goofy little thing about sending troops to Poland and then bringing them back in the middle of nowhere after they sat in Poland unsupplied for two or three turns. I'm just, just going to be calm. Just going to stay calm. Look at that. His power is at six. Ha! We captured Gorlitz. Take that, you Protestant bastards. And now this guy's active. Oh. But we have no supply. And this guy is going to disappear. See, they're finally coming back a little. Oh, who are these guys? we got some new generals. The Protestants have asked England for help. We can ask Spain for help. I don't know who that guy is, but he keeps giving help. General Wallenstein removed from command. Dim diplomatic regional decisions renewed. That's what, um, who was asking about that? Was it Tom Flamang or somebody else? I can't remember. I don't know what these really do, though. Do they really help? Diplomacy on mains. Hmm. I'm going to have six of them, I guess. Saxony, you magnificent bastards. We're going to play some diplomacy on you. Actually, these guys are the magnificent bastards, the Bavarians. You magnificent bastards. 
I'm not insulting him. That's just from Patton. From the movie Patton. Uh, upkeep has cost four. It should cost less since most of our troops are gone now. We are completely unsupplied in so many different regions it's not even worth looking at. Uh, let's see. I'm zoomed out, so I better zoom in. Oh. Size 2 fort. If we could get one more breach, then Magdeburg would be ours. We'll put him on assault just in case. And I'm going to save this turn. How's his supply look? Eh, not bad. Execute. Let's see what happens. Shit. Looks like they repaired the breach. Son of a bitch. The Spanish king has sensed me some help. We receive event name HRE Trier income. I guess that means I'm getting income from Trier. It just is, uh, yep. They repaired a breach. Yep, see? Armored pikemen. Slick pikemen. And some more guys I lost. Thank you so very, very much. Why is he locked? He has no... Spinelli Brigada. He's a, he's a, yeah, he's the garrison. All right. Um, why doesn't he have supply? That's not a very big unit to not have supply. What's Breslau look like? No supply, of course. Two hundred and four days. Mud, 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 mud. I don't understand that. Why does it say he's going all the way over there? And why is this guy all the fuck the way over there? Jesus. What a, what a fucking balls up. Sorry, but that is just so very pathetic. The only one I uh, influenced Bremen and I influenced Trier. The rest of them I influenced not a bit. We got some more times time, so. though. We'll try again. Monster. It's really, really disappointing about that. 
supply situation. I had those guys. I had them in a good spot. I had them in a really good spot where I could, you know, keep them supplied. And then they drop them in the middle of fucking nowhere. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. Save that. Execute it. And I think this will be the last turn of this episode. My episode 13 of Let's Play 30 Years War. Look at that. Guy's got a fucking power of four. Now it's five. And he's moving too because I got to get him out of there. He's up to 15. Unbelievable. Get these sons of bitches out of the way. Is he active? Yes, he is. We'll move him down here, too. Because I'll be able to move one of them over here to uh, Vienna. Oh. Oh! Oh! Protestants surrendered to us in region Magdeburg. Eat it, Protestants. Yes, sir. Combat power 24. We just have Hamburg, Hamburg Stetten, and Strausen. And um, and we got one national morale point. Uh, changes from objectives under control to plus one. That's one. That's three. Somebody has received some replacements. Magdeburg is under our control. Eighteen. Um, we influence Munster, we influence Spain, we influence Denmark. Yeah, it's all right. All right, everybody. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Sorry I got a little hot under the collar, but I think you could agree with me that that situation with the troops coming back from Poland was uh, a little uncalled for, a little, you know, short-sighted on the part of whoever program that to happen because that was not very cool but anyway i do appreciate you watching and i will see you next time